update for uh, this uh, property. Things are going pretty well. Um, I think overall we're slightly behind on uh, schedule by three to four weeks. Um, number of reasons, but I think well, logically nothing that can be uh, anticipated and that is just typical property related things. We've had a lot of issues with the kitchen uh, coming from Magnet. They've been an absolute nightmare. Not the staff themselves, just loads of things not turning up. Um, little things like this, right? This is the exact perfect thing. This is what came with the worktop, right? So we've had to buy the right sizes. So if you see here, hopefully that's in focus, like it obviously doesn't cover. So like literally useless, right? Just it's been problems after problems like that. Um, but yeah, focusing on the positives is looking quite good. Um, I think. Uh, I came here earlier to site and the uh, kitchen guys are here and the paintings and decorators are here. Um, but yeah, it's been whitewashed now and I've delivered all the coloured paint. So I think the ceilings upstairs are obviously doing all the whitewash everything and then you do all the ceilings first and then you start doing all the walls and then all the skirts and stuff last. But um, yeah, let me show you around because uh, you can really start to see the kitchen now. So, yes, looking all right. Um, I think at least, so we've got a, that's, I can't remember what we decided. We've got one washing machine, one tumble dryer, and another washing machine. So we don't know where to put the tumble dryer in there because then we can um, build a little extraction unit because the boiler's going in there. Basically, the boiler's going in there because it's on an external wall. Do we put a tumble dryer and put just a, another hole in there? Because obviously, if they shut that, it's going to get hot in there. Um, or if we put the washing machine there, we're going to have to get some sort of... Uh, uh, the water's already there, but we're gonna have to get waste out of there, which ain't the end of the world. It just go out there and the soil stacks outside, but it's probably more cost. It might be easier to do that tumble dryer in there, but what we've got to think is that the TV's gonna be there, and where I'm standing will be the sort of lounge, so something's gonna go in there, but obviously, like, it's additional. Like, I don't think we really need it as such, but it's just nice extras to have. Um, so we've got, as well, you know, sinks here. Oops. Sorry. Uh, radiator right going there. Uh, this is almost like a, a breakfast bar. It's where people can kind of sit and chill out and stuff like that. Fridge freezer. I think we've got three fridge freezers. Two double ovens. Jeez, look at that. The skylight. Um, we've got two induction hobs. As you can see here. Two cookers. Which is quite a nice. It's really quite nice, like, I'm really liking the flow of this kitchen. Um, yeah, it's quite nice. It's decent. And obviously coming out here, we might have like, um, I, I've said to get a little dining room table and stuff there. Flipping you around. Um, just quickly show you, like, it's just a bit of a, a dumping room at the moment. I don't know if you've seen this actually. We've got a new front door. Let me show you. So I, I picked the front door. Um, yeah, I picked the front door because looking around, uh, the, the road is quite a lot of like brown doors and stuff like that so I thought that this door would be the best uh, in keeping and uh, yeah I'm really happy with uh, how that came out you can kind of see that's that, that sort of style but the property it fits the area so it's quite nice uh, we've done the wall mains and stuff like that they've kind of put that back at the moment as to what it is but if you see here there is, um, we're gonna need to like turn this whole thing into like a driveway so uh, we can get parking on it. And then obviously we've got the garage um, as well. Let me just show you through here. All of that as well. Yeah, so, um, still figuring out what we're doing out here. Really, but carrying on with the tour. Light. Well done, look. Had that. Looking down a bit fast. Not much has happened there. Uh, this is quite cool. So obviously we're gonna have the water tank here, so you can see all the pipe work um, there. But the electricians have been in. Made nice and neatly. Put that sort of thing there. So that's quite cool. I like that. Um, Coming upstairs, it's all just been painted, decorated, and uh, I will take you round 
this way. There's not much. I mean, the tiles look slightly different. So Alicia came here and she's now thinking about painting the bathroom to white. Um, it changes the colour of the tiles slightly. Um, but yeah, not much point showing you. You've seen the LED lights. Yeah, it's just all, it's all been uh, whitewashed, all the doors, everything. Everything's just a whole, whole white property. Um, you can't see, I won't, won't go in all the rooms. Again, sorry if I'm going a bit fast. I'll go upstairs. Final floor, I mean, sort of, yeah, gonna need a ladder for that, aren't they? To get over that as clearly as far as they could reach. They were up here earlier though, um, so yeah, this is the room and little kitchen things. We've got like a sink there, fridge freezer, units, and stuff like that. A little kitchenette, strapped a fan over it. Um, yeah, it's just a sea of white at the moment. Um, but yeah, like I said, I delivered like 100 litres worth of paint earlier. Uh, so, well, I think it was 80. 80 litres worth of wall, like coloured paint. So, yeah, lots and lots of paint being used. But um, yeah, that's our update. We are in the final stages now. We are literally trying to smash it out as quick as possible. I'm trying to get this place finished in the next sort of two. Well, I mean, the builders and that won't. Next week, a lot of this will be painted. And I can't remember exactly when, but Alicia's got the furniture and ca the carpet people booked in, the furniture people booked in. We're getting the handyman booked in to start doing like um, curtain rails and stuff like that. Uh, obviously you can't put mirrors in until the uh, furniture here and stuff like that, but we're really, really pushing to get this uh, finished ASAP. Um, obviously it's an eight bed house, but we're only gonna fill the first six. Um, and we've got to get planning and change of use and a license for eight. And do we go to 10 people because some of the rooms are a bit big enough to handle that so uh yeah uh there's a hell of a lot more work to go um so yeah stick around this will be the uh the interesting thing it's very work intensive and we're very 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 busy but i'll try and film as much as i can um so yeah hope you enjoyed that give if you've got any questions leave a comment um anywhere uh make sure you like the video and uh yeah we'll see you next time thanks for watching bye